Hi there guys, I'm Nigel from Notion Hub and in this video, I'll be showing you the most important tips and tricks for Motorola H20 Pro. By the way, I'll also be making a dedicated video for the best features where I'll talk about all the features offered by this phone. So definitely check out that video as well, link will be in the description. With that said, first I'll start off with the navigation gestures. Now this phone by default comes with a 3 button navigation bar but we can change it to the navigation gestures. Once you enable it, you can swipe from the bottom of the screen to go home, swipe and hold for recent apps. To go back, you can swipe from the left side corner or the right corner to go back a step. To trigger the Google Assistant, you can swipe from the bottom left corner or bottom right corner diagonally and it will trigger Google Assistant. Finally, we can also swipe left or right on the bottom bar to quickly switch between the recent applications. So these are the navigation gestures, they work really well and I would definitely recommend them over the regular 3 button navigation bar. Next, I'm going to show you how to open split screen mode. For that, first we need to go to the recent apps page and then click on the app icon and then select split screen. Once you do that, that application will open up in the top window and we can select the secondary application from recent apps or the app drawer. Now this is something that you can find on all other phones, but on this phone, we also have a nice gesture. You can enable the toggle from here. Now once you enable this feature, you can just swipe from the left edge of the screen to the right and back to open the current application in split screen mode. And then you can select the secondary application from the app drawer. Now even though most of the applications support split screen mode, there are still some applications that might not support this feature. So to fix that, first we need to enable developer options. For that, go to settings, about page, and then click on the build number 7 times. Once you do that, developer options will be enabled. Now go to the developer options, scroll all the way to the bottom and enable force activities to be resizable and then restart your phone. Once you do that, you will be able to use all applications in split screen mode. Next, I'm going to show you how to take screenshots. Now the default way is to use the buttons. Just long press the volume down button and the power button both at the same time to take a screenshot. On this phone, we also have the three finger screenshot gesture. So to use that, you just need to enable this toggle and once you're done, just touch and hold the screen with three fingers at the same time to take a screenshot. Once you get a screenshot, you'll see a preview and some extra options to edit the screenshot, share it or even do a direct Google image search, which is a pretty cool feature. Next, we can also record the screen on this phone. You can do it directly from the notification toggles. If you long press the record toggle, you can also change the settings for this screen recording feature. Next, I'm going to show you how to change the default applications like the default phone dialer, SMS application or your browser. You just need to come to this place and from here, we can change our default SMS application, browser or even your home launcher. Next, if you want to display the battery percentage on the status bar, you just need to enable this toggle. Once you're done, you can see the battery percentage on the status bar. Next, this one also has dark theme and you can enable it directly from the display settings or the notification toggles. You can just touch it and all the system UI elements change to the dark theme. Even some stock applications like phone dialer, SMS application and even some Google applications like YouTube, Gmail all change to the dark theme. From settings, you can also configure the dark theme to turn on at a specific time and turn off at a specific time as well. Next, we have a lot of cool gestures on this phone. First, we have open camera quickly. Now, once you enable this feature, you can just double press the power button to quickly open the camera application. This gesture works anywhere, anytime. Next, we have fast torch. Once you enable this feature, you can just do a chopping gesture to turn on the flash and do the chopping gesture again to turn off the flash. This is a pretty handy gesture. Next we have quick capture. Once you enable this feature, you can just twist your phone to open the camera application. Once the camera application is open, you can again twist your phone to switch between the front camera and the rear camera. Once again, this gesture works anywhere, anytime. Next we have media controls. Now once you enable this feature, whenever the display is off, you can long press the volume up button to change to the next song and you can also long press the volume down button to change to the previous song. These are pretty handy media controls, especially if you listen to a lot of music. Next we have peak display. You can enable it directly from the display settings or the Moto app. And once you enable this feature, whenever your phone is locked, if you get a notification, you get to see it on the display. From here, you can have some brief information about your phone, like the time, battery percentage, all the notifications, and you can also interact with those notifications. Peak display is a pretty unique feature that you can find only on this phone and I would definitely recommend you to try it out. Going on next, we can also create our own theme on this phone. Once again, we can do it directly from the Moto app's personalization section. 
from here we can choose our own favorite font change the accent colors choose icon shape and even the layout of the home screen if you really want to personalize your phone you can give it a try next we have game controls once again you can enable this feature directly from the moto apps game section from here you can add the list of games that are installed on your phone now whenever you open any of these games from the list you get a floating button on the left and when you click it it gives you a lot of game controls like you can block notifications calls take a screenshot record the screen or even open some applications in a floating window so we can play the game while using some applications in this floating window so guys these are all the most important tips and tricks that you should know about your phone if i missed out on anything important do let me know by commenting below this video with that said this is nikhil signing off see you in my next video